uh, hello, good afternoon. Salam Sajatra and welcome to this TEL webinar. Uh, this webinar has been basically designed and developed to introduce you to some of the concepts which we'll be discussing during the course of today's afternoon session. I hope you are having a joyous Ramadan and this as we are facing a, a very unprecedented situation in which we have to basically go off online and conduct all our teaching and learning online, you may be having a lot of questions. So today we have our panel here with us. We have Prof. Rasid Mail, the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Academic and Internationalization, uh, Professor Dr. Fong, the Director of the Center for E-Learning, Puan Salmi Jamon, also one of the, the coordinator for the e-learning, and we have uh, Dr. Uh, Edmund Ng Gyapweng, who is the coordinator for the MOOCs. So I'm your co uh, coordinator. So I'm Kenneth, and I will be moderating this session. And uh, for your information, if you need to post any comments, please utilize the chat window, and I will uh, transfer them to the respective panel during this discussion. Okay, I hope that you can all participate in this session. And now I hand over to Professor Dr. Rasid Mail to present his opening remarks. Professor Rasid. Yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Kenneth. <clears throat> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Salam Ramadan and uh, very good afternoon to everybody. I think we are uh, reaching 200 now, the participant. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, I think I must congratulate also uh, the PhD for being able to be uh, to facilitate the decision uh, uh, to become a reality this afternoon. I think uh, we have been uh, very active in, in doing this kind of session for the past, I think, uh, five to six weeks, uh, ever since we started our PKP. And I think uh, today we have a great opportunity to <coughs> deliver the effort, one of the effort that uh, we put uh, al along the line the uh, formulation of one platform, we call it uh, TEL, the Technology Enable Learning. I think uh, the, 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 the speakers later on, uh, they will uh, deliberate more on uh, <clears throat> the purpose and uh, the, the content, the concept of this uh, TEL. And on, on behalf of the management of the university, uh, we really appreciate the uh, cooperation uh, across the board, uh, the lecturer, uh, the staff and the students. We know that we are all together in experiencing this difficult time in facing uh, <coughs> the PKP. And uh, we know that also uh, somewhere, uh, sometime, everywhere, uh, all the, the staff, uh, academ academia in particular, they are struggling to make sure that the business are running as usual. And I think uh, <coughs> the time during pandemic uh, exposed there so many things. So we started to realize that there are a lot of uh, disintegration in this community, a lot of uh, interlocking, a lot of weakness, weaknesses okay, we, we experience. So <clears throat> all the social classification, for example, that we used to apply before uh, PKP, before the pandemic, are no longer uh, usable, are no longer uh, working during this time. So <clears throat> we, we can see now if we have a lot of money, it's useless also if we cannot buy food. And also it's not uh, uh, important for us to get healthy if our neighbor, our community is not healthy. And also there are many uh, big conglomerate, the industry and then uh, industrial player now. They are getting suffer and suffer. Even though before this, they can proud of their uh, earning, their return, uh, their income and whatnot. And now <clears throat> all those things are uh, exposing to the risk, which is, I think, uh, everybody in the community, they should uh, work together. It's what we are doing today, this afternoon. And uh, in Sabah, he said, for example, uh, I think uh, at the very beginning of the PKP, it seems that uh, we were very worried about the lack of supply of food, for example, vegetable, fruit. Even though in, in, in this state, uh, there are a lot of uh, vegetable supply from uh, Ranau, uh, from Kondasang, but not because of the quality and quantity of the food, but rather just because of the uh, chain, the supply chain. That, that is the, pro the problem. 
And also, uh, we start to realize that uh, not only the, the 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 poor people are suffering during this time, but also those uh, come from uh, high level income, high class family. So that's why uh, many people say that this uh, pandemic exposed many things, our weaknesses, and then uh, disintegration, interlocking, and so many things. I think similar happened to uh, the way we run the university in education industry also. Uh, I, I think almost every day we can read in, in, in blog, in uh, uh, writing, uh, Facebook, internet, or whatever you name it. And uh, people say that uh, maybe before PKP, uh, online uh, uh, way of uh, delivery can only uh, enjoy by not many people, but now since that everybody, in fact, uh, our school children also, uh, secondary, primary school, now they start to become familiar with that also. <clears throat> so I, I think uh, when crisis come, as uh, normally people say that there will be opportunity and also of course the challenge. And that's why we are having the session today. I think uh, I will not prolong my, my, my preamble. Uh, later on, uh, we will give more space for uh, question and answer discussion. I uh, want to use this session to listen from our colleague as a TNCA. Maybe there will be some comment or uh, uh, suggestion or complaint rather from from uh, 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 from the audience. For example, that we can take note and we take into consideration, taking into account to bring to <clears throat> the managerial level of uh, consideration. I think uh, for the start, uh, I ask uh, Prof. Kenneth, can you please uh, share a slide? I just want to bring to you uh, the status quo of the running of the university at this moment. Yes, Prof. I'll have to share the slide, Prof. Uh, uh, briefly. I'll yeah. Have to put it online. So I have to present uh, the slide. Okay. So uh, you will have to basically go offline, Prof. I will share the slide with you. You'll have to. Okay. I will share the slide first. Okay, and then I will put up the slide first. <clears throat> and uh, while, while waiting for that, uh, there are a number of efforts being done uh, by the university at various levels to yes. ensure that uh, we run the business as usual. Yeah. Okay. Can you see, Prof, the slide? Bolin, yeah. Uh, still, yeah, this is the slide. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for, yeah for, for, for the members in this uh, session, uh, that is the basic statistic now we are having at the moment. Uh, I just put quadrant one, quadrant two, and quadrant three to, to, to enable us to, to, to look at into the discussion. Quadrant one, uh, basically uh, the uh, uh, black blue in the middle, uh, but uh, uh, of course we, you cannot trust my cursor. Kan? So yeah. the population in the university now is 17,700 to be exact. And uh, it consists of 14,952 uh, uh, undergraduate and 2,760 uh, postgrad. And uh, you can see the composition uh, over there, the postgrad by research, coursework, mixed mode. And uh, for undergrad, we can see there the number of final year. This is very critical for us to consider final year, 4355. And uh, uh, we expect 500 foundation students will be coming in July or August. And uh, at this moment, we have 252 uh, foundation students and uh, 335 diploma, that is oil and gas and nursing. And uh, if you can see the brown uh, circle there, uh, green in, in, in the font is green. That is uh, what the number of new cohort that we are expecting for them to come. They're supposed to come somewhere in 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 September, but now uh, we postpone to October. Uh, the new cohort, and if you see in the black black circle for the undergraduate, uh, one four six eight is the number of students that they really need F two F. We have already submitted the number to the ministry, and for postgraduate, uh, basically they are final year uh, student postgraduate student four hundred sixty five. And uh, normally they need uh, laboratory work. 
And the same thing also, now uh, we are having 643 international student, quadrant three, uh, the right hand side of your screen, which uh, consists of uh, 213 postgraduate and 406 undergraduate. And uh, 24 are uh, English preparation program. And uh, the small circle, there's a smaller one, uh, 286, those international, international student, 286 are now in KK. They are in Sabah now. And for postgraduate, 88 of them is in KK. These are the thing, the current scenario that uh, is important for us to take into consideration. I think uh, what we are doing today, part and partial, is to tackle the issue. I think uh, at this moment, uh, Dr. Kenneth, uh, that is uh, uh, my presentation. It's subject to a Q and A later on. If there is anything that uh, somebody needs to raise up, yeah. thank you very much. <clears throat>